design, advertising, you have different backgrounds. Um, it doesn't matter because in the end, you're just designing. I think the, the whole world is digital now, so to be a designer, whether a graphic designer or an advertising student or anyone, you need to know digital because everything we do today is digital and so if you're doing graphics you're going to be doing graphics not for a magazine magazines are sh shut no one's reading magazines everyone's reading magazines in a digital medium so as graphic designers they need to know that to to do anything in their life to build their careers or to have a job so it's very important and something about college i like uh, talking about design i think it's scary because the codes and HTML thing part is very scary, so I don't know how that's going to be, but... So the first exercise you're going to do is you're going to get 10 minutes time bound, the first time bound challenge. Within your group, pick a category and come up with some ideas. Very quickly, if you want one space, it doesn't have to be resolved. This one, So we started off with um, just brainstorming ideas. Um, they used different techniques of brainstorming within the groups. Um, they had a little word cafe where they moved from one group to another. And that's a very quick way of getting some ideas um, from other people and expanding on your idea. Like Wikipedia or something. Is this a We don't have them in India. If you have interest in music, it will be obviously filtered. Time out! Time out! You can go back to your original themes now. So don't jump to solutions at the moment. Have some ideas, focus on getting the right insight that you're supposed trying to solve. It has some simple tips on how to go and talk to people because now you're getting into people's lives, you're going to ask them questions. Then they went and did some uh, research which is another big part of the design process so they went and interviewed people and gathered some insights and came back and refined their idea and then they pitched it uh, just like in the real world uh, one word you have to almost sell your idea to make sure other people are interested in it so they 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 had a visual and they had their idea um, uh, that they presented to everyone so I asked him, will this app work for you? He said, yes, yes, why? it will work. So, but your parents don't know how to use like a, a smartphone. Yeah, they don't know. But will they learn? Yes, they will learn. <laughs> so I didn't get anything out of them because they just yeah. kept saying yes and no to everything I was saying. Yeah, sometimes they'll just agree with you. So how do you like dig, dig, dig? so they can actually open up and, and give you some insights that are going to be useful. By now you should have a very clear target audience, the problem you're solving, and your primary idea and the secondary idea. My idea is to design an app for Ganpati Festival to help devotees navigate through queues with real-time information on queues at famous towns. Cool. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. What do you guys think? How many of you are going to use it? You know people who do. Yeah. Seems like you have a successful idea. Good, congratulations. And then it, then it was all about designing. Designing the interface, the wireframes, the graphics for it, the look and feel. When you sign in, sometimes you want to add your own picture, you want to put the And the last part of it was prototyping, so just a very quick way to export the images and you know put hotspots, link files, and um, and and then actually have it on your phones. So to see how it's going to work, um, you click on it. This is what the experience is. Why isn't it coming to me? So I think in a very short time they were able to get a sense of the entire process, the design process. And now I'm hoping that they will go into the details of the design and improve on things that are not working. I would say they are totally at par with um, the American students. They are in the same age group, they face the same challenges. 
um, they are in a learning phase, they get excited about, you know, little things that are going to make either their, you know, work easier or if it can help them do more things or if, you know, something clicks in their mind and that helps them become a better designer. A lot of those things are about process because you can't teach them how to come up with a good idea. You can only teach them how to have a good design process that will help them get to a good idea. And I, in, I think in that term, um, they are at a similar level of understanding what the process is. Um, maybe there's a little bit uh, lack of exposure to technology um, to in, amongst Indian students, and that you know there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, but otherwise, in terms of idea generation, um, they have a pretty good design process.